Okay, so uh, just uh, one more time. Let's draw this out as well. Mm, so we have the metacarpals here, right? And uh, these metacarpals, let's, let's say this is the second, third, fourth, and the fifth uh, metacarpal. So within these metacarpals, you have the palmar and the dorsal interosha within the interosha's compartment. Now, um, you have the palmar aponeurosis here, right? So I'm drawing the cross section, of course. Um, this would be the lateral side because obviously this is where the thumb is. So on the lateral side, a septum originates from the lateral border of the palmar aponeurosis. It obliquely goes down and then attaches to the third metacarpal. And uh, just like that, on the medial side, you also have uh, a septum which originates from the medial border and then goes down and gets attached to the uh, fifth metacarpal. So this would lead to the formation of the various compartments. Here, I, as I just said, here you have the interosseous compartment in between these uh, metacarpal bones, right? Uh, medial to the uh, medial septum, you will have the, this would be the hypothenar compartment. Uh, within um, the two septa, you will have the central compartment. Uh, the central compartment uh, would contain the uh, tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, and uh, it will also have the lumbricals because the lumbricals originate from the tendons of the flexor digitorum profundus. Now, after that, uh, lateral to the uh, lateral septum, you have, here you will have the uh, thenar compartment containing the three thenar muscles and um, here you will have the adductor uh, pollicis muscle. Okay, let me just redo this a little bit. There you go. Right, so this is the thenar compartment, okay, and this here is the adductor compartment containing the adductor pollicis muscle. Here you have two spaces. So this uh, lateral septum, it is uh, dividing the two palmar spaces that I just uh, told you uh, a little while ago in the Netter's Atlas. Mm, here you will have the thenar space and between the two uh, okay, it won't be this big, but here you'll have the, the mid palmar space, right? So the two palmar spaces, the thenar space and the mid palmar space are separated from each other via the lateral uh, septum, which originates from the lateral border of the palmar aponeurosis and is attached to the third metacarpal bone.